There you go. Grease his uh, Wonder War against the Ottoman Empire. I mean, here's the thing. Like, we could just attack Grease. They're friendly with Germany, which is a little scary. But Germany's already at war. The Italians have peaced out in that war. I wonder if we could take this territory from the Greeks. Like, they just took it from uh, the Ottomans, and then we just invade them and take it from them. Let's do a quick save. Let's dissolve this alliance. And if I was to theoretically go to war with you on the 15th of May for my core, 64 war score, Scandinavia would say yes, but everyone else would say no. It's going to be Macedonia. Like, you took it, and now I will take it from you. <laughs> it is the ultimate betrayal. Assuming that Germany does not intervene. Actually, we can call Yugoslavia in here early, just in case. In case maybe that makes the Germans not want to join this war. Because again, Germany is still at war with the Dutch. So, so they, they might not want to intervene because they'd be in, in multiple wars, which they don't want to do. I mean, it's not like you're in your sphere anyways. Yeah, that's not what I want. You, you go back here. The Gr Greece, is your army just garbage? Are you just like a really sad little country? 25 out of 30. Like, it's not, it's not that bad. Do you not have gas defense? Maybe. Maybe. No, you do. Maybe, our, maybe this channel is actually just really good. He's attack plus four. You know what? That, that might do it. We'll see if Scandinavian forces even actually arrive down here. Thing with like with Romania, they get that final core back. I don't know if we could reasonably um, invade the, or invade Russia. I, I think an invasion of Russia is just not in the cards right now. Okay, thank you very much, Greece. <laughs> it was a pleasure doing business with you. Oh. Uh, how sad for them. Bring our force up to the front lines. Definitely, we're going to lose one militancy. Open, subsidize all factories. Cut military spending again, because we're... Again, again, we're poor. We're very poor. Hey, Greece, we can get an alliance again if you, if you want to. I think that's okay. I mean, we got one area with cores left in, uh, in Romania. But could we? We can't fight Russia, right? Right, we, we can't fight the Russian. How many troops they got? They have 429 divisions at, like, just standing. Like. Also, how have you not beaten the Dutch yet? Battles plus 50. You're both to, like, fully occupy the Netherlands. We would need somehow for Romania to not be allied with Romania anymore. Like, we need this alliance to break, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. What if we, um, try to raise tension? Let's see if we can get, like, a flashpoint here. And we can take back all of our cores. And by all of our cores, I mean the territory that was originally uh, Bulgarian. The Swiss wants an alliance. We're going to say no to this. Albanian independence? Never. You think the Alba Albanian independence? I laugh. I laugh at you. 
in my kind of like really sad looking army right now because most of them are not anywhere near the strength they need to be at. I mean, the, the Romanian army is just larger than ours. Great powers at war, base decay. Because you're still at war, right? You're still worth the Dutch. Are the Dutch a great power? I believe so, but they're probably not going to be a great power for long. Let's go for... Let's, let's research electricity. Seems like a good place for us to start. We can build... We can build, like, a lot of units. Well, we don't really have the... Like, we don't really have the money for it, right? You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're a little strapped for cash. Okay, we got German patriots in Russia. Again, again, Russia needs to be at war with somebody pretty major. So of course, we will attend the Olympic Games. We're now at 11% flashpoint tension. And it's, you know, still slowly going up a 0.1% per day. And what we want... I guess Russia would... I mean, everybody loves me. That's kind of the thing. Like, look, look at his opinion map mode. Everybody loves Yugoslavia, except for the Ottomans and Hungary and the Americas. But if you don't look at the New World, the New World doesn't matter. It's all about Europe. And they love me. Even France loves me, and we were at war with them. You know what, Spain? Sure, we can have an alliance. That seems okay to me. The Dutch are fully occupied. I'm surprised they're still at 30%. Um, how are you at 30%? I guess because of... Brazil? Is Brazil the war leader? I don't actually know who the war leader is. It's probably not Morocco. I would take a guess and say that's probably not Morocco. I mean, but not in Hungary hating me. Hungary probably because I own, like, all their, their cores. I mean, I only own, I only actually only own one of their cores. Okay, movements, public meetings. Okay, there you go. You can have public meetings now. Are you mobilized? You're mobilized at 376. Germany, like, that's actually not that many men. Like, well, we actually kind of... I think we get, like, a Russian-Chinese war. I ah, believe me, would that actually help us? I mean, how many men do you think Russia can actually mobilize? If, there's, if they have a base resting rate of 441 divisions, them being mobilized has to be, like, ne close to at least 1,000. Like, it's got to be up there. Maybe I encourage some capitalists. Upgrade whatever factories we can. Subsidy, subsidize whatever factories we can. Tension's now at 26%. It'll go up faster once Germany is at peace. Because again, yeah, that's the only actual war here. If the Laxi ever hit peace, though. Having okay, a research electricity. Let's get the final level of railroad. What's everybody else doing? Canada's in the sphere of the U.S. Mexico is doing their own thing. Again, like I just, I just want my final core. Just one more core, and we will be, uh, we'll be having a great time. You're all part of the... You're actually cores of the French Republic. I wonder if you actually... You're, Brittany's actually in the sphere of France. I wonder if they can peacefully reincorporate. You're Breton. You do have Breton as an extended culture, so I'm not too sure if Brittany actually will reincorporate into France at some point. Oh, China and Russia actually are at war. Now we can see how powerful Russia will actually become. I mean, that's actually even mobilized. 
Because China's going to mobilize. They could probably mobilize, I would imagine, a lot of men. Because did the pet declare independence? They must have. And the pet's in the uh, British sphere of influence. You want China to dismantle their empire. I mean, we'll see how that goes for them. I mean, what military tech is Russia, is China actually on? 30 out of 30. Okay, you know what? That's actually that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't want to ally the, the United Kingdom. China is at, or Russia is at 30 out of 30. Britain is at 29 out of 30. I think we're on 30 out of 30 as well. And you're now war with Scandinavia. Everybody's going to war with China. I don't know, like... They're going to have a lot of divisions. So Russia. Um, I think there's actually only been one official great war, and that's when everybody tried to invade me in order to give Ma uh, in order to give Bulgaria Macedonia. But we we ended up winning that war. I was thinking of 14. The United Kingdom wants East Canton. They actually, Britain wants to annex like a full chunk of the China. I mean, we'll see how that goes for them. And like, it'd be nice to go to war. I guess. I mean, world tensions right now, it's at 34%. Great powers at war is 0.1. Like, it should still be increasing. No, it's 0.1. It's actually going to 0.18. It is still going up, but it's 0.18 going down. It's going up by 0.19. We kind of need one of these wars to actually end. Because, I mean, what great power... Oh, China's no longer... What? Wait, what do they go for? I, d I don't know. China lost... Britain has now annexed an entire chunk out of China. My question, did they get dismantled or no? I was building against Morocco. Sure, why not? I mean, who's Morocco? They're in the Dutch sphere. I don't really I don't really want to invade Morocco, but you're at war with the Dutch. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think China got this mantle. I think I think Britain just took a territory and then like pieced out. I'm surprised. I really thought they'd do better. But I mean, I guess Russia does have a lot of units, like more troops than it is even reasonable to have. Are we going to get more secret ballots? I'm okay with secret ballots. And again, this is going to be the only crisis that's going to fire. And because most of Europe likes me and hates Romania, I'm hoping that they will want to support us instead. I mean, actually, it's really... How do people feel about Russia? Germany, Italy, Spain... All hate Russia. Most of the people are kind of neutral about them. China, of course, hates them as well. So I'm hoping that we will have the backing of the international community. If we're lucky. We'll start training more units if we can. I mean, yeah, it's working okay. Get more armies in place. Take our last core. Like, I want to get this last core before we finish the series. We only have, like, six years. Yeah, we're still in the, the Scandinavian sphere of influence. 
And because the Dutch have demanded all of these um, war goals... I mean, they have that. And reparations, cut down the size. I think this German-Dutch war is just going to last forever. Because Germany can't effectively invade Brazil. Which is honestly what I think is keeping them. Oh, also, I got a package delivered. I'll be right back. I can't just leave, uh, like, a $500 CPU sitting on my front, uh, porch. Anyways, um, as I was saying... Flashpoint tension. It's going well. Germany will probably not end their war anytime soon, which is unfortunate, because we want Germany to kind of join... The crisis? But I don't know if they will. Flashpoint tension now at 2%. Excuse me? I want flashpoint tension to be as high as humanly possible, thank you very much. I want to get this core, but at the same time not have to fight Russia. You know what I mean? Like, that's that that's kind of like the, the tightrope that we're currently walking. It's not going to be an easy tightrope. I've never even, you know, walked on a tightrope before. China's also once again at war with the British already. Because they're fighting against the Yunnan clique, who's also in the British sphere. But I think China can beat Britain. That's my guess. Exactly. I want to go into the bakery and just, like, when they're not looking... Put my hand behind the counter and just grab a cake. Is that so much to ask? I don't think so. But the game might end before that actually becomes a reality, unfortunately. In Japan, did they ever get back to great power status? Nah, they're in 10th place. They never recovered from that one war with China. Where they had like four rebellions, I think, fire. But who's in first place? United Kingdom, US, Germany, Russia. I mean, Russia did way better this campaign than I was expecting. If you remember back from our Scandinavia campaign, they did terribly. Like, look at our Navy research. We don't even know how to build a basic... We can't even build boats in our own country because we don't know how to build them. Go for... Mass politics. Prices is still building up tension here. I mean, because I don't think Romania is going, uh, unfortunately, to have, like, any kind of rebellion. Like, they're not going to have a uh, either a communist or fascist uprising, which will throw them into political chaos, in which we can do another police action into the area. Yeah, because, again, without Russia, I think China can do fine against Britain. It's, it's really against Union Clique. I like all these wars against for British aggression, by the way. Just keep on flashing up and down. Because again, you have 774 division, you're still in the middle of mobilizing your army. It's definitely quite a bit. Let's put you here. Let's get another army. There we go. Lovely. We get all these troops deployed. Get two engineers in that army. 
Well, there are some socialists. But, again, Ro Romania will be able to put that down without too much problem. You have 345. You're, like, you're not strong enough to fight Russia. And, yeah, you're never going to lead the... Uh, the Russian sphere of influence, I would imagine. You have 43%, mostly from battles. And they are slowly pushing their way into uh, India. And all of Germany's colonies have been occupied by the Dutch. Well, actually, almost all of them. This one did get occupied by the Brazilians. And because all these wars, like, our, our tension here is basically, like, not generating at all. Thirty-three, forty-five. I mean, how much... How much does it cost to annex this one area? Like, how much war score is this area, really? If you're allied with Czechoslovakia as well... to 43 which actually is pretty expensive nobody would say yes to this war which you know fair enough i would under i understand i would also say no to that war if i was either czechoslovakia or scandinavia relations political considerations opinion other sphere infamy germany we should be friends That's my, that's my thought. And you should help me fight Romania and take back my last sphere. Or let my last core. United Nation, United Nation. How many, how many of these have now popped up? Was that say 764th? Yes, yeah, it's in like the 700s. Yeah, no. It, yeah, it's like 777th. Okay, there's, there's been a lot of, uh... Wars of British Aggression. And you're not worth anybody. You're actually allied to France and the Dutch. Do not accept negative 91. Do not accept negative 3 is not... Let's improve relation with the Dutch. Hey, Netherlands. Do you want an alliance? You're allied with Russia as well. Kind of the, the conundrum, right? I don't I don't know how Germany's not uh Do you not have a navy? You have 39 ship. Which means it's in a lot of ship. Chinese war, the Dutch German war. I, I don't I don't think it's gonna be possible. Unless we can somehow get flashpoint tension here high enough. But it's going to be difficult with Germany and uh, China at war. And Britain. I mean, there's four great powers in all-out war. Apparently the Dutch... How are the Dutch still in 8th place? You know they're completely occupied. Because Mexico actually doesn't, has nowhere near enough points to uh, make that work for them. here. We'll build some more troops in Africa. Sure, Britain, you can have military access. That seems okay. I don't know why you need military access through me. Because I don't... I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't border China. At least as far as I know, I don't border China. I don't, right? Like, I don't have... I didn't actually take, like, a French colony over here or something. No, not as far as I can tell.
53%. More national focuses. Social alienization. Well, let me see. Is there any more decisions we even have? Embrace Bulgarians, embrace Albanians. All allowed rights. I think we don't have all allowed rights. What, what do we have right now? Restricted. And nobody wants to do this reform. Reform the colonial army. Change populations. Hey, Bryn, you want an alliance? Negative 59. And negative 4. Okay, so the German uh, war here did eventually end. I don't know what peace they came to. Was it just a white peace? I don't even know what the war was actually even about there. But it should allow this to start picking up steam once again. Okay, Great Powers at War 0.02. I just, I just want at least one cry. I just, I just want somebody to back me here. China and Britain not being in the crisis doesn't actually affect us too much. They combine our forces. Britain apparently is extremely conservative. The United States is very liberal with some more socialist communists in the West. A lot of socialists are in Canada as well. Thank you for the follow. And we also lose some militancy. That's always nice. I want you to build up even faster. Mortification, national focus. It goes up slightly faster. Again, if Britain and China weren't at war, but I don't know when that war will actually ever end. Battles negative 17. Somehow China lost a major battle. And I'm not really too sure how. Or where. Maybe it looks like maybe somewhere in India. All because they want the Yunnan clique. We'll see if Germany wants to go to war with Russia to try to take back their territory. Russia has one division. Or no, Germany has one division right now. That's uh, pretty bad. That's actually awful. So it looks like they did get cut down the size. France, I'm surprised you don't want to jump in on this. Or Russia. Or all of you. So maybe we don't want German backing here. And they got, they still got 44 ships. So actually, they're still worth 608 points in military score. Their military score is still significantly higher than mine is worth for some reason. Okay, this is almost firing. Germany wants an alliance. You know what, Germany? Now I think the AI thinks that we're stronger than them. I'll still take the alliance. And again, who likes us? Everyone. Everyone loves us. And if Russia backs us, I think that's actually probably the best case situation. And it should hit 100 in a second. And I'm trying to think, there hasn't been a crisis in a while, so that should fire relatively soon. I don't remember how long it needs to be at 100% forward to fire. I don't know if it's like, maybe it's like a once a month. Like at the end of the month, it triggers the event. No. Does anybody actually know when this fires? I know there's like a time between... Um... Apparently, Yunnan Clique is still independent. So Britain has won their war in China once again. Everybody wants to be my friend. Navy is at war. They're at war with Germany. Because do you think you can actually take your cores? 
I'm gonna say no to that. We're still at 100% crisis. Unfortunately, it actually means that Italy and... I guess Italy's not actually great power. I mean, you can't win that, right? Even if Germany has no army, I still don't think Scandinavia can actually win that war. Russia decided decline to back us. United Kingdom has backed uh, Romania. So we might not get any backing at all. Oh no, Russia's backing us. That's nice. And Russia, or France wants to back the, back you. Russia has betrayed Romanian trust. If you go white peace, I'm just going to quit the campaign right then and there. I mean, how many, you have 4,000 military points. You have 1,800, you have 700. Because you're, all your points come from, surprisingly, actually, soldier and armies. Our land's returned! We will keep everything we've gained! And that, my friends, that is a Yugoslavia. <laughs> poor, poor Romania, man. That's the saddest looking Romania I think I've ever seen. I'm surprised that this campaign has gone this way. If you remember, after our first stream, we really thought that we were just dead. But we have overcome all obstacles. You thought the Yugoslavia Wars of 1990 were bad? Imagine this Yugoslavia breakup. It's going to be a shitstorm. But that is for the future to worry about and not for us. And there we go. That was Victoria 2 